Hi guys, welcome to Insight with Papa Masa. You won't believe it. I caught someone today. Uh, she's really interesting. And uh, without much ado, I want to introduce her to you. But um, you people are lovers of stories. Like, you read a lot of stories as young kids. So which ones do you remember? So I have a special guest here today. And uh, she's going to tell us verbatim some of the stories that she read earlier when she was in school. So I'm speaking Swahili. So, Labda Kabla Twendele, Onaito Anani. Naitwa Joan Auma. Aha Joan Auma, uh, labda unaweza kutueleza kidogo kuhusu wewe Joan ni nani? Eh uh, mimi sita at this home. Yeah, so she's a friend of ours. Amekuja kutusalimia. Uh -huh. I have a very interesting story to tell for you. Mamsa uh -huh. was very forgetful. One day she took her baby to the clinic. The doctor gave her some medicines and said Always shake the bottle well before giving the medicine to the baby. That evening, Mamsa's neighbor had the baby let out as she really cried. She ran to Mamsa's house. She was shocked to see Mamsa shaking the baby. What are you doing to the baby? She asked. The doctor told me to shake the bottle well before giving the medicine to the baby. I forgot to shake the bottle, so I am shaking the medicine in the baby's stomach instead, Mamsa said. Wow, so that is one story. I'm sure it's a popular one, Mumeskia. So, who are Lisa Hau ku tingiza dawa, tupa ya dawa, so anatingiza mtoto instead. So, story appealing? Welcome, welcome to Maporomokeni, shouted Kibibi as she ran to meet her friend Omamo on the street. Omamo had just arrived from Nakuru. Soon Kibibi's grandmother, mother, father, brothers and sisters were out of the house, each of them saying, Welcome, Omamo. There was a lot of excitement, and Omamo felt like a king. Inside the house, Omamo's joy changed to a shock. There were cups and plates all over the place. An unpleasant smell filled the room. Sit down, sit down, everybody said to Omamo. But Omamo did not know where to sit. There was old Ugali and Skumawik on the sofa set. When Omamo sat down on the floor, he ended up sitting on a pair of dirty socks and shoes. Shortly, Kibibi came in with the tea in a thermos flask and poured some into a dirty mug. Have some tea, have some tea, everybody said in a chorus. Just then, Omamo saw two black things flow out of the flask. He quickly looked into his mouth. What did he see? A dead fly and a cockroach. What a shame. Ah, so you're in a tfunza usafi, isn't you? The worst had happened. It seemed like preacher Mulachake had been stung by many bees. He suddenly shot out of the pulpit and broke into a run, headed for the front door. But before he could get out, his coat was caught up by the door handle. He thought an angel had got hold of him. He started bleeding. Please, angels, be kind and listen to me. Every member of the church had started storming out. Some climbed out through the windows. Others climbed on top of others to get to the door first. Even the old men and women who usually entered the church, leaning on walking sticks, abandoned their sticks and ran for dear life. Allah. <laughs> so uh, those are three stories from her. So tunataka sasa atuambie shairi alafu pia ana poem. So twende na gani? Shairi ya kusemezana hakika patano kupatikana. Watoto wa siku hizi hakika mumepotoka. Hamuna la kumaizi kwa vile mumepotoka. Sana mekuwa wabezi. E, hamheshimu rika. Tulieni tuwasie. Mupate zetu hekima. Tumesikia mechoka. Semeni muna losema. Semeni muna chotaka. Ni mambo yapi mwasema. 
Tumechoka mashitaka Mbona mwatu sema sema Simango mumezidisha Semeni mnaviotaka La awali ni vileo Mushirikipo bala Kwa haki vijana leo Mwaja kupata mawa Musipokoma vileo Akili zitadua Tulieni tuwasie Mupate zetu hekima Vileo kwetu furaha Tena usitarabu Akili kupata raha Mitima ikabuburu Na wacheni zetu raha Enyi wazema babu Simango mumezidisha Semeni mnaviotaka Hebu chunga yenu luga Matusi sisi mafala Mama etimade luga Baba fade pia fala Wana heshimuni luga Utamaduni sifala Tulieni tuwasie Mupate zetu hekima Tazama mnaviova Mavazi yenu ya udhi Kweli hivi siku va Hakika muno mwaudhi Hata mabinti ya fa Muvae zisizo udhi Tulieni tuwasie Mupate zetu hekima Wacheni kutuletea Mavazi yetu fashoni Wazungu katuletea Na kamwe hatuna soni Mavazi kutuletea Hata hilo eti soni Simango mumezidisha Semeni mnaviotaka Viema kuafikiana Hapo ndipo kupatana Heshima kupatiana Na hilo ndilo lafana Tuwache kusukumana Iwe tuwaheshimiana, tulieni tuwasie, mupate zetu hekima. Kusemezana hakika, patano kupatikana, wasia ukisikika, wakinzani kupatana. Mapatano tumefika, tumesema kupatana, wasia tumekubali, tupate yenu hekima. Kusemezana hakika, patano kupatikana. Wasia umesikia, wakinzani mepatana Mapatano tumefika, tumesema tuapatana Kusemezana hakika, patano kupatikana Asante Haya, kazi nzuri So, iyo shairi natuambia nini? Nimesikia bitu mingi, kuna ushauri kwa Sisi vijana kusu mabazi Sabia na miendendo zetu kama vijana Mara nyingi tunasema tuko digital na tunapotea Tunatenda vitu ambavyo vina tuingiza kwa shida Eh, very good poem Aya, sawa sawa So, hiyo ni shairi So, tuende sasa kwa poem So, poem inaitua? I will respect I will respect Aya, sawa sawa I will respect I do not know whom you are but I will respect. I will respect an honorable person. I will respect a poor fellow. Who knows if it is an angel disguised? I will not be selective with my respect. Everyone is a fellow human. So I will respect. Even if you are nobody, I am nobody too. So I will respect. Thank you. Aha, so kuna nyingine ama ni hivyo? Kuna ya Grandmother Pussycat. That's a poem? A poem. Unataka kusema? Eh. Knock, knock, knock. Who is that? Grandmother Pussycat. What do you want? A packet of milk. Where is the money? In my pocket. Can I have it? Oh, it is lost. You silly pussycat. Get away. Get away. Meow. 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 Ah. 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 Ah.
kusoma stories. Wa wengine wetu huwa tunasoma stories lakini unajua hiyo kukumbuka stories hadi unakumbuka venye ulikuwa unasoma huwa si kazi rahisi. Ni ngumu. Hey, Jo anasante sana so asante kukuja kwa show yangu. Eh uh, nafikiri tumekuwa na wakati mzuri asante sana. Asante uh, mimi ni pia kwa kusikiza. Haya uh, sawa sawa. <laughs>